Welcome back to part two of the Jewelers Carpet Refining Recovery video. I've got my vacuum bottle hooked up here. This has been allowed to settle for two days. And now what we're going to do is we're going to vacuum off the solution in here into our, uh, our vacuum bottle here. And we're doing it this way so we don't disturb these solids that are settled out down on the bottom of this beaker. Now you can see in here in our beaker we've got some crystals forming on the inside of the uh, beaker there so I'm going to trade out our suction hose here this is like a coarse hose and we're going to put in a uh, tapered piece here and try to draw off the rest of our solution down here We've got it drawn off here. Move this out of the way. Here's what's left down in the beaker. It looks like fun, doesn't it? It's a big mess. Got a lot of crystal growth on the inside of the beaker there. And we're going to have to add some water to this, stir it up, and let it settle. Here we go. Let's wash some of this stuff down off the inside of the beaker. Should just be some silver nitrate crystals. They should dissolve easily with distilled water. Add some more distilled water. Stir this up real good. Oh yeah, I can feel a solid bed of solids down on the bottom of the beaker here. It's like cement. Oh yeah, Let's see if you can see down in there. See that? It's a solid bed of solids that's compacted, settled down in there. And two days so we're gonna have to get all that loosened up out of there all right this stuff is compacted down on the bottom of this beaker it's cemented together into a solid block down there so I'm gonna have to bust bust it up with something rigid here before I do that let me get rid of this excess liquid into this clean beaker What do we got down there? Solid block of cement. I have to get in there and break that all up and get it loosened up. I've got to use something rigid here. I've got a piece of aluminum. So I'm just going to go down here and dig this all out of the bottom. Get it all loosened up so we can work with it. I was able to get it all loosened up down here. I'm going to add some more water. Try to get all the silver rinsed off of here before we go to the next step. Look at those solid hunks of black stuff down in there. It's all got to be broken up. I've got a hand blender here with a little steel blade on it. See there? And I bought this at the thrift store for about three bucks. These things are excellent for chopping up pieces like this. 
It's got a metal blade, but we're only going to have it in there for a few minutes. So I'm going to try to pulverize everything in here with our mixer now. Oh, that did it, man. There's no more chunks in there. It's all back into a finely divided state. All right, what we got to do now is I'm just going to combine these two into this larger beaker here. I mean, they're both four liter beakers, but I want to transfer everything into this one. And then we're going to let everything settle out go from here down in the bottom there should be where our our gold is gonna be down there looks like it might be pretty rich we'll see here in a little bit Yeah, I can see glitters of gold in there. Quite a bit of it. I think we're going to have some rich material here. Some chunks of gold up in there. Yeah, here you can see a river of gold in there. And this is... The heavier material that settles out is going to be uh, gold powder from that jeweler's carpet. Nice, goodly amount of it, too. Nice. feel like I'm panning here. Alrighty, here we are in the process. We've got uh, quite a bit of gold powder down there. Uh, that's probably uh, maybe an ounce of powder, maybe a quarter ounce of pure gold down in there. And uh, what we've got up here now Let's see if we can put this back. We've got our the rest of our solids in this beaker. I'm going to let this settle out. And we'll uh, recover the liquid because it's going to have some silver. And then back here is our silver solution that's going to have a whole bunch of nitric in it. And what we'll do is we'll filter this. And then we'll go from here. Here I have one of my specially folded filter papers in a 12.5 uh, centimeter Buchner funnel and uh, this is folded in such a manner that the uh, filter rides up the sides of the funnel and we can capture 100 percent of the uh, solids without any of it coming into contact with the funnel Oh, Lord. I had some, uh, evidently some hydrochloric acid down in the bottom down there. So now we're forming silver chloride. Made a mistake here. All right, I was trying to take a shortcut. Use a uh, flask that had some stuff in it down here without washing it first. And now it's going to end up costing me more time trying to take a shortcut. So what we'll do is we'll pour this, this solution that's got some hydrochloric acid into this beaker. We'll save it. It's going to have a bunch of silver chloride in it. I'm going to go in and wash this flask out. 
I've rinsed the flask out. Uh, I was trying to take a shortcut here. It had a little bit of silver nitrate. What I thought was silver nitrate down in here. And since what we were filtering was silver nitrate, I thought we could just go ahead and put it in on top. But there must have been some uh, hydrochloric acid in there. So a classic example of a uh, shortcut ended up costing us more time and effort. Well, we did confirm the presence of silver in our solution because I got some silver chloride down in the bottom not a whole lot but a little bit so we're gonna have to pull all that off of there before we can uh, start dissolving the gold with aqua regia I'll go ahead and continue filtering our silver solution here All right, I've got all this solution down into the filter now out of my vacuum bottle. So the next logical step here will be to start filtering the uh, solution out of this beaker. This is just going to be water. And we're going to start filtering this now. This will probably load the filter up and slow the flow way down. Yeah, the filter's loaded up now and just dripping a little bit, drips at a time. And I've got about two liters of solution that's got to go through this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in, have me a little bit of lunch and wait for this solution to pull through this filter. This has been filtering now for about two hours. It's coming through at about, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 drips per minute. And uh, it'll probably take about another two or three hours to pull the rest of this through this filter. And I've got about a half a gallon of liquid to uh, filter. So, uh, might have to come up with an alternate plan on that. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. All right, let me transfer the gold that we've got classified in this beaker into this smaller beaker. Here's the stuff we've got classified into this beaker. Uh, I'm just going to set this aside for right now until we figure out how to proceed here. Alright, I'm going to need to get at some of this solid material that's down in this beaker. So what we'll do is we're going to transfer the liquid out of there into this clean beaker or this uh, empty beaker here. I'll reach down into our solids and get a little sample of it and uh, move it over here to this clean beaker all right let's do a quick experiment here this out of the way bring up our heating pad here I have some Ruto professional drain opener it's concentrated sulfuric acid I'm gonna add a little bit of that to our beaker here with our material in it I 
I haven't added any heat yet. But I think I'm getting some, some kind of reaction going on in there. I'm going to add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide from that right now. 29% hydrogen peroxide. We're going to try to make some piranha solution. See if we can get some of this carbon off of here. With this little amount that we got in this beaker. Here we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of the 29% hydrogen peroxide right on in. Whoa. There we go. I'm going to get some with a dropper. Start adding it by the dropper full in here. See if we can maybe dissolve off some of the carbon. Clear it up a little bit and uh, perhaps convert it into something that will pass through our filter more readily. Got a little bottle of 29% uh, hydrogen peroxide here. Just going to keep adding it until we uh, see some kind of noticeable difference in here. I didn't have to add any heat. Just enough heat from the reaction. We got 73 Celsius, 164 Fahrenheit. Just from the uh, two reagents reacting with each other. I'm going to add a little bit more of the sulfuric acid. Let's try a little bit more hydrogen peroxide. Fresh acid livened it up. We're at uh, 98 degrees Celsius, 209 Fahrenheit. And we know we ain't gonna put no metal in solution with this. But we may get rid of some of the stuff that's interfering with the uh, filtering process. Do see a definite layer of material forming on the bottom that's distinguishable from the liquid. That looks promising. Get down there. It's gold. I think there's a gold layer. Looks like the gold's cleaned up a little bit too. I'm going to add the rest of the hydrogen peroxide and just dump it right on in. Let's see uh, how this reacts. There we go. Look at that, look at that. Probably should have used a bigger beaker. We scratched out, it didn't uh, overflow. This might give us a good result. Here's our material that we treated with the piranha solution. I need to attempt to filter it now. So what I'll do is I, I need this filter tube. I'll uh, Move this flask over to the filter table over here. I've got two tubes that I can use, fortunately. Here we go, we're gonna try to filter our solution now. It's got some sulfuric acid in it. I've got uh, two filters up here. This one is a uh, micro fiber, glass microfiber filter. 
The sulfuric acid should not affect this filter that I'm pushing down in here. This is the microfiber glass filter. I've got that filter seated down into the Buchner funnel. I'm going to follow it with a regular paper filter. I've turned on the vacuum to this hose here. Attach it to the flask. We're going to dampen our filter paper with some water. See if we can get this thing to seal up. All right, our gauge indicates that we've got some vacuum. It's still fairly warm. It's dried off for the most part. We're going to go ahead and pour it in now and see how this is going to work for us. Let's look at our mud in the beaker. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, look at that gold in there, man. That is pretty looking. I can see it glittering. Seems to be working okay. Liquid's coming through at a faster rate than uh, with the other flask. Uh, we'll see what happens once the filter gets completely loaded up. This seems to be pulling through the filter much better. So now I think what I'm going to have to do here is uh, just go ahead and start transferring this solid material in here. A little at a time and hitting it with the prana juice and then pouring it through our filter. We're going to add some sulfuric acid to this. Pour it in real slow. Careful, careful. Alright, now we're going to start forming our piranha solution in here. Look at that. We got some fumage going on. That's probably because we got some whole bunch of nitric in there still. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of the 29% uh, hydrogen peroxide. All right, if you look here, our solids are nice and dry in that filter. It's pulled through quickly. It only took about uh, five minutes to get all that solution pulled through there. So this is apparently going to be beneficial for us. I'm going to keep adding some hydrogen peroxide here. fairly vigorous reaction but I'm willing to go through this if we can get all our material pulled through that filter like that last group went through no problem
Okay, this is looking pretty decent. Looks like we've got it classified. And I'm going to try pouring it right in on top of the other stuff in here. If this works for us, this is going to be superb. All right, this is pulling through at a fairly decent rate here. Got all our solids cleaned up, it looks like. Going into the filter nicely. Uh, this looks like it might be a viable solution to our problem. A viewer recommended this. I cannot remember who it was, but thanks to that person for suggesting trying Piranha Solution to clean our gold up. Look at that, man. Look at that gold in there. The Piranha Solution is working perfectly to uh, allow me to pull that solution through the filters now. This only took about 10 minutes to get all the uh, material I had in here. This filter is still full of liquid. It's been on filtering now for about four hours and it's coming through just drips at a time. So uh, this is definitely a uh, beneficial procedure. What I'm gonna have to do now is just treat all of this down in this beaker with the piranha solution over and over in our smaller beaker. I could do it all at once in the large beaker, but I'm fearful of cracking the glass with the amount of heat that's generated by using the piranha solution. So we'll just use a small beaker. I'm gonna do that off camera. When we come back to the next shot, I should have all of the uh, solids up in this filter or possibly another one because look like this is getting full got the liquid pulled out of these solids what I need to do now is transfer the solids in this funnel to a beaker bang just like that there's our uh, microfiber filter Okay, now that we've got our uh, solids removed from this funnel, I've got a little bit of room up here. I'm going to install another paper funnel. I'm going to leave the uh, microfiber filter right in there to uh, provide a uh, base in case that sulfuric acid tries to eat that paper. I'm going to move this out of the way now. This is ready to be processed with aqua regia. And now we'll just continue with our uh, filtering, trying to gather our solids up into this funnel.
Okay, what I've been doing is I'm just adding this hydrogen peroxide, letting it react, and then down on the bottom of the beaker, I noticed there's a uh, small little layer of gold that forms down there that looks kind of clean. A little brown layer of gold down there. See that? That's kind of how I'm judging when this piranha solution reaction is complete. All right, I'm just gonna pour this right on in now. Let's see if we can get a shot of our little river of gold coming out of here. It's all fine particles of gold coming down. There's there's a little bit of emery, the uh, abrasive material. But you can tell that brown material is our gold. We've got this filter full of our solids. Got all the stuff pulled through it, all the liquid. So now we'll, uh, I'm going to start working on this button that we melted up in part one stick it into a uh, beaker add a little bit of distilled water I'm gonna turn on a little bit of heat I'm gonna add a uh, squirt of sulfuric acid and we'll uh, try to dissolve off the junk that's on that button get it cleaned up this has been boiling in the dilute sulfuric for about 10 minutes or so, 5 minutes. Uh, we did that to just get the uh, borax off of there. We'll take it in and rinse it off, do some tests, and see uh, what we need to do to proceed with getting the pure gold out of this. Here's our button from part 1. I've got some 14K test acid here. I'll put a little scratch on on this test stone a couple of them different places I want to apply a drop of this test acid and just observe and see what happens here okay we don't have to look too hard there to see that the uh, acid pretty much taking the streak away it's still a brown streak which tells me we've got about could be a little bit less than 10 karat gold in this button so we may be able to get away with just throwing this in some nitric acid and pulling the silver and the base metals out just like it is just for comparison this is my 14k wedding band I'm going to scratch some of the metal off of it onto this stone. That's the 14K streak from my wedding band. Now we're going to rub the uh, button of gold right next to it. And then we'll add some test acid here. You can be able to see the difference between the 14K metal and the low carat under 10k I'm gonna call it uh, but metal that's in this button there's the difference right there you can see the button turns brown the 14k streak for my ring stays bright and that's how I'll know approximately what the content of this gold button is so down around 10k maybe a little less I'm going to get started on this button, but what I need to do first is make some room in here. So let's get this solution out of the way. All right, I'm going to add some dilute nitrate from a previous refining to our beaker. Now we'll add our button to the dilute nitrate. We'll pull all the silver and the base metals out of here. 
And I'm going to move this back out of the way now. Put a little heat on. Get this out of the way. Let that process back here out of the way. Now what we'll do is uh, transfer our funnel here that's got the filtered solids in here. Hopefully we'll get it to come out as quick as easy. As it, yeah, there we go. Bang. Here's our microfiber filter. I've got another filter prepared for this. And we're going to move this out of the way now. I'm going to continue uh, filtering off the, the liquid from this uh, solid material that's been treated with piranha solution. Here's the funnel that took hours and hours to pull all the liquid through. Now this should be kind of neat. What we're going to do is uh, add this filter paper and all right down here into this beaker. And we're going to treat the whole filter and the solids in there with our piranha solution. I'm going to add a couple of scoops of uh, this black material. You know what? We're almost done here with this. And uh, I don't have very much up here left. So we're making some decent progress here. Now we're going to add some sulfuric acid to the paper filter that's full of solids in that beaker. I don't know how this is going to react. All right, we're going to start adding some of the peroxide here. It should pretty much just dissolve that paper. Another dose of peroxide. All right, we're going to stir this up as we add the peroxide this time. I think this reaction is complete. If you look down here, you've got our little pile of gold powder down on the bottom of the beaker. So now we're ready to pour this through the filter, capture those solids in the filter. Get this material in our filter. Got another full filter up here. So we'll uh, deposit this into our beaker with our other solids that are ready to be uh, processed in aqua regia. Notice our uh, microfiber filter is still in the bottom of that funnel. I've got one, two, three filters full of our solid material. 
I've got a fourth one here. I'm going to stick it down into our funnel now. Now we're going to move this material out of the way and gather up the rest of our black solids out of that beaker back there. Let's add a little bit more nitric acid to this reaction back here. That's our button of gold back there that we're uh, pulling the silver and the base metals out with dilute nitric. This is the final little bit of solids that we need to get out of here and hit this with our prana solution. Set this back out of the way. Now we're going to uh, get the liquid off of this. There's some solids in the bottom of this solution. Let's move this out of the way. Bring up our vacuum bottle here. Now we're going to uh, pull the juice off of this. Uh, these solids down in this beaker. All right, let's get our vacuum bottle out of the way here. Now we'll transfer the solids out of this beaker into this smaller beaker. So we can hit it with some Prana solution. And then gather these solids up in a filter. And this will be the last of the uh, solids that we have to deal with here. All right, here's the uh, solids that we pulled from our part one, that big beaker. I put those in a separate beaker and saved those. I'm just gonna pour this liquid off now. And then we're gonna add these solids right into this beaker that we're getting ready to hit with Piranha Solution. This is gonna be a lot of gold in here. Uh, this is too much material to try to do the reaction in this small beaker. So now we'll have to transfer everything into this larger two liter beaker. Otherwise, it'll probably boil over when we hit it with the prana solution. Now here we go. We're going to put some sulfuric acid in again. Sulfuric acid. Start adding our peroxide. This is the last of the solids here. After this, we're done. And we've got all our solids gathered up and we should be able to go start processing this stuff now with the uh, aqua regio. These are our three solutions that we've collected from this process. Uh, this was the solution that we tried to filter in part one. This is the stuff that we pulled off from the solids in this video. And this is the one that we just vacuumed off. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a clean beaker back here. I'm going to add some pieces of copper to this. Now what we'll do is uh, I'm going to pour this solution in here. We'll start cementing out any silver or other metals that may be present. This is gonna have a lot of nitric acid in it. That's okay, we're just gonna sacrifice the copper and get whatever metal we can out of that solution. I need some room in this flask so we can keep going with our uh, 
our piranha solution over here. So I'm going to add some of this now to the beaker with the copper in it. And like I said, this is going to have a lot of nitric acid in it. But what we'll try to do here is just recover any metals that the uh, solution may contain. Mostly silver, not very much, but enough to go ahead and sacrifice some copper and get the silver. All right, here we go. We're going to add some more peroxide to our solution here. See if we can get this cleaned up. All right, I think this reaction is done. Here's our little pile of gold down on the bottom. So now what we'll do, we'll uh, get those solids into this filter now. If you notice back here in our uh, silver jar, the sulfuric acid that we've been using combined with the silver nitrate to form silver sulfate. So I'll uh, have to convert that to silver chloride with hydrochloric acid and recover it that way. I'm not going to do that in this video though. I just wanted to point out what happened back there. That's why you see that uh, white fluffy material back in that beaker. It's silver sulfate. I removed the pieces of copper from the uh, solution back there. Can't possibly do any good. What we'll do is hit that with hydrochloric acid, convert everything to silver chloride, and then I'll recover the silver that way. For right now, what we're gonna do is add the uh, rest of these solids to our filter. This will be the final final group that needs to go in here. Hallelujah. Collect gold up in there. See that? It's all pieces of gold. Uh, let's just get it in the filter here. I'm curious how our uh, little button of gold is doing here. I'm going to pour off this solution. It'll have a little silver in it. Let's take a look at this gold button and see how it's looking. Here's our little button of gold. It's not looking too bad there. I'm going to add some more distilled water to this thing. I'm going to put in some nitric acid. And we're going to put it back up on the heat. And let this continue to react. Until we get uh, all the silver and base metals removed out of here. It's looking pretty good. I think this is going to work out good for us. This is our fifth funnel. It's got a uh, filter paper here with some more solids. What we'll do is add this to the beaker. And whew, here's a look at the solids that we've got. You can see some gold down in there. So this is ready to be processed with aqua region now. All right, let's review what we've got here. We've got our silver sulfate. I'll convert that to silver chloride with hydrochloric acid and then to pure silver with lion sugar. We'll melt it up in the shot, run it through the silver cell. Back here, I've got our uh, little button 
and we're parting out the uh, silver and base metals with nitric acid and then here we've got our filters and what we'll do in part three is uh, go ahead and start processing this solid material now that we've recovered it in aqua regia okay this will conclude part two of the jeweler's carpet recovery and refining video thank you for watching